How's it going guys? So just finished assembling the bottom end. I'm gonna give you guys the specs. I did the top rings at 2200s, the second rings at 2400s, and I left the oil rings uh, stock, whatever they came in at. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see the, the ARP main studs. So I'm using the ARP main studs. I torqued the girdle caps at 55 pounds in a sequence of three. And I did the number one and number five cap at 60. So those are at 60, these ones are at 55 using ARP main studs. You don't want to torque to 80 pounds like the instructions say or you're gonna to have to get your caps line home but something like this is stronger than OEM and uh, you can uh, actually put like five pounds more torque on them without distorting the, the actual main caps I'm gonna turn it around and spin it for you guys so you guys can see You know, a lot of people build motors, they don't give you the specs, which this is what, I, what seems to work for me. We'll see once we're on the dyno. So I'm gonna spin it for you guys, so you guys can see that it spins freely. I'm only using one hand, so it's a, it's a little bit harder. Also, to make sure you you get when you install the rings, they're on the proper proper place because sometimes they move. You can see the oil line. I don't know if you can see the oil line right here where my finger is. That's the oil line for that piston, and that's the oil line for this piston, uh, close to the same spot. Then you can see the oil line for this piston, and the oil line for this piston. That's when you know your rings did not move when you install them. Because once you use the spring compressor, sometimes they move. So you got to make sure they're on the right spots. All right, well, ju just a quick update. So you guys can see. Cylinder support system, areas, pistons, uh, 82 millimeter. And that's what we're going to be working with. Thanks for watching.